Howdy guys. All right, so let's uh, get things rolling by getting our development environment basically set up. What we need to do is we need to, you know, get Houdini set up with the project. We need to get Unity going. All right, so let's do a quick uh, review of all the core concepts that we are going to cover in this section. So first, we're going to go and create a Houdini project. Pretty basic stuff, but it helps us stay organized. All right, so I highly recommend doing it, especially when you're working with uh, PDG because you want to know where all your data is going. All right, so then we're going to go and get a Unity project set up. And this time, what I'm going to do is utilize uh, 20, Unity 2019.3, point, uh, one of the betas, point 0.8, point 0.08 beta. All right, and that's because I want to go and show you guys how to set up the universal render pipeline in a, from a manual standpoint, because I just don't like uh, using the template because it imports all the starter content for me. And then I have to go and delete it all. And um, I know it doesn't sound like a pain, but I don't know, I just like to keep it all organized, custom, so I'm going to show you guys how to do it anyways. Alright, so now we're going to go and create a PDG HDA. Alright, so we're going to go and learn a little bit about setting up PDG with top networks and getting an HDA so that way we can bring it into Unity. And then finally, we're going to take a quick look at using the PDG asset link inside of Unity. This basically will allow us to run our top networks that are nested inside of our HDAs inside of Unity. Okay, so lots of good stuff to cover. Let's get going. 